Uh, so let's get straight to the good stuff and put up the image from today, the very beautiful image. So I'm pleased to report that uh, Curiosity today had her first successful drive on Mars. In this image, you can see our touchdown point. Uh, you can see the tracks driving away from that location, as well as the scour marks to the right and the left of the rover's initial position. Uh, we drove forward, did a turn in place, and backed up. Uh, and you can see that the, the soil underneath the rover, it kind of confirms our uh, expectations that the, the soil is firm, uh, great for mobility, we're not in, uh, seeing too much sinkage, uh, and that we should have smooth sailing ahead of us. Uh, I've also got another graphic showing the animation of the drive today, if we can move to that. So this is our uh, simula simulation and visualization tool which shows our first drive. So we initially bumped forward 90 centimeters uh, to image the wheels and then drove uh, an additional distance to total four and a half meters uh, where we did our first turn in place. And you can see we're imaging every once in a while to look at the wheels as we're driving to inspect them and check them out, uh, turning half of our 120 degree turn, uh, turning the remaining distance uh, and then backing up two and a half meters. So this final location places us in a good spot uh, to do some good science here. Uh, the key things about the drive today were that we were able to do one full revolution of the drive actuators in the forward direction. We were able to turn uh, and see that the inertial measurement unit telling the rover uh, how its heading is changing is working properly, and we were able to back up another full revolution of the uh, drive actuators. So we were able to see motor currents, we were able to get the data, uh, and everything looks perfectly nominal. So we're very excited to, to have this uh, kind of milestone behind us. We uh, see that the system is performing uh, very well and uh, we're in a great place to do some science.